Heavenly Father, as we come together to reflect on your word, we ask for your guidance and strength. Help us to stand firm in our faith, even in the face of challenges. May your spirit fill our hearts with courage as we strive to follow your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Reading 1, Jeremiah 1 verses 17 to 19. The Lord spoke to Jeremiah, But you, gird up your loins, stand up and tell them all that I command you. Be not crushed on their account, as though I would leave you crushed before them. For it is I this day, who have made you a fortified city, a pillar of iron, a wall of brass, against the whole land, against Judah's kings and princes, against its priests and people. They will fight against you but not prevail over you, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Gospel, Mark 6 verses 17 to 29. Herod had sent soldiers who arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married. John had said to Herod, it is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. Herodias had her chance one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. Herodias's own daughter came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, Ask of me whatever you wish, and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you ask of me, even to half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? Her mother replied, the head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request. I want you to give me at once on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests he did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head. He went off and beheaded him in the prison. He brought in the head on a platter and gave it to the girl. The girl in turn gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. Lord, we thank you for the example of your faithful servants, like Jeremiah and John the Baptist, who stood firm in their commitment to you. Grant us the courage to speak your truth and to live out our faith with boldness, even in the face of opposition. Be our refuge and strength, and help us to trust in your protection and guidance. May we always seek to do your will knowing that you are with us every step of the way. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.